Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the Hobart Workshop. Today we're, we're, we're working on se several different projects at once. Um, I'll be sending our last project that we worked on. This thing right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, I'll, I'll be sending that th th throughout, throughout, the, throughout this episode. And something that I I, I saw I, I saw today was that it's a it's a thing it's a thing for Valentine's Day, but yes, I'm I'm a bit late, but that's okay. Right here, R right out the right out the ha the heart, the the letters, round it over, and and cut the edges, and cut off the corners, and sand just sand it, put some lacquer on it, and hang it. Uh, that'll be something for next year to hang. Um, but uh, I hope it wasn't time to I hope it wasn't time to close there. But um, first, before we start, I like to take I I'll, I'll, I'll like to take a minute and talk about shop safety. I'm going to read, understand, and follow all the safety rules that come with your power tools. And the first of, and the first important rule: always wear your safety glasses. I uh, I shot this early uh, this morning. And didn't, and didn't come out right. Uh, YouTube, my my converter, for, to, to convert it into Windows Media, uh, stopped working and it screwed up the whole video. So I figured I'd reshoot it. But now let, let's get the project and have some fun. The first project is going to be uh, well, well. The first thing I'll be doing today. Excuse me, not the project, but. This is this is a sample piece for, for, for my legs. I'll be building for, for the desk. There'll be th three by three, actually two and a half by two and a half. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try using my router and try rounding off the legs instead of using a hand plane and, and a chisel. I'm not gonna go on this side because because of the, of the, I, I use finishing nails to to to, uh, to to hold it while the glue set. So I'm gonna see how it turns out. I had to increase the depth a little bit, just a little bit, not much, ow, not much, but, ow, damn, I have to stand that pretty good, um, yeah, I to, oh well, I just have to increase the, the depth just a little bit on here, and that'll be good. Let's try it again. And that's perfect. That's what I want. I just gotta do some some good sanding, and that'll be a good leg. But this is just a sample piece. Looks pretty good. And, and, and again, in the final product, I'm not gonna use any I'm not, not gonna use any, any finish nails. I'll just glue it together, and I'll also shave the legs down with my hand plane and joiner. Now, since I have this traced out, I'm gonna take my fine router bit which I think is one-eighth I'm using this one to 
to go to go around the lines like so, like this. Oh, I just said like so, but I'll use to go around the lines freehand. If I screw up, I'm not even gonna post this. But I hope not. Uh, Big Dipper 351, uh, uh, when I get this done, I know you're going to like it. Hopefully I can make you one, and I'll send you one. Yes, yeah, so all I have to do is just mount this in my router when my other bit cools down, because right now it's firing to, it's firing to red hot. Until that router bit cools, I'll be doing some fine hand sanding. I'm not, not going to show you that, but that's all I'll be doing. Fine hand sanding, it's going to take a while, but it's going to look great. Well, this project is totally done. This part of the project, anyways, is done and ready for the finish. It only took me about 20 minutes. It's nice and smooth. The ingredients are nice and smooth. It's ready for the finish. Now I get to route out the this part after I put my safety glasses back on, but I just, I just have to. I'm gonna start in here, work my work my way out, and just call and just slowly take it through there. This has a variable speed. But my router has a variable speed. I have a, I have it on the lowest speed A, so it's gonna work out pretty well. I'll help. I'll show you how, how it turns out in the end. I'll try to get some shots as as, as I'm work, as, as my as my progress begins. I'm doing okay so far. I started in here, and I came out, and I kind of screwed up right here, but that's okay. I fixed it. And now I'm right here. I'm going to plunge the router back in, start it back up, and keep on going through and really take my time in here. This is going to be the hardest part. But, but I'll be cutting this out anyways on, on the bandsaw. So, uh, now I'll come around here, go through here, and keep on going. As you can see, I've already started cleaning out the inside. I am I, I'm, I'm doing the outside last. But... And I'm also gonna do the finishing cuts last. You can see it's a little bit bumpy here. I'll do the finishing cuts last, and right there I also messed up, but that's because the hose got in the way. I also got a little chittery, chattery right here, but that's okay. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I'm only practicing right now, but once I get more lumber, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a real one of these uh, out of oak or maple. But that's what I'm using now. My my quarter inch my quarter inch straight cut bit freehand again. It's the only way you can do this. On the edges, it's really hard. Well, that's all the time we have we have here today at the Hobart Workshop. I, I, I have a job interview to go to, so in about three hours. So this is the finished product. This I put our camp at the end. These I'll be taking this from my dad up to our camp. Maybe hang I'll hang it up there. He's not there. You know, you know, that, that's our trout fishing camp, our hunting camp. It's a. I'm not even doing uh, with, with a deer rack on it. I'm not sure. But th uh, thanks for watching the Hobart Workshop, guys. I hope hope you guys had fun watching. I know I know I didn't get any good real shots of doing this, and so, uh, but I, I didn't have something to hold the camera. But next time on the Hobart Workshop, I hope to I hope to start working on the uh, on the second part of the desk. I still haven't figured out how to. How to do the how to, how to do the uh, the supports for, for the legs? I might do more some tendon joints, or I might just screw, screw them together. I'm not sure. But thanks for watching the Hobart Workshop. Work work safe and have fun.